the contact us page shows that their location is actually in Uwu Papua New Guinea. Are you I, serious I, right now? Yes, yes. What'd you just call it? Uwu Papua, Papua New Guinea. So we're about to piss off the Papua New Guineans or whatever the fuck you call people from Papua New Guinea? The New Guinea pigs? No, I didn't. Oh, whoa, <laughs> no. I Don't didn't say, say that. that. Okay, first of all, I didn't say that. Yes. All, how am I pissing them off by saying Papua we love New Guinea? we love Papua New Guinea? I don't even know where the that, fuck that is. Why do you say it's Papua? in the fucking. It's in near Indonesia. Are you serious? Did you why not is, take? Hold what up, the hold fuck, up. man? Why do you say, why do you say, Papua? Why do you say Papua New Guinea? It's Papua. It's Papua. It's Papua New Guinea. Papua. Because I call it Papua New Guinea, and that's what I call it. Okay. It's, po- it's poopy New Guinea. This episode of Furry Frequencies is brought to you by pears. Shout out to all my pears. I eat pears or, or or things like that. You know, we're repping the pear industry up in this piece, man. We like pears, Bartlett pears, uh, Bosch pears. So shout out to all the pears. And I eat pears and, and pears. Yeah. I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. And she don't <laughs> like pears either. So fuck you, Shanika. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Furry Frequencies, the soundtrack to your furry life. I'm Lifty and joining us on the podcast this evening is Silox. Hey, how's it going? And IBM. Hi. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah, we've had a lot of things happening the past week and um, and a lot of drama happening within the furry community. Um, We had a site called fursuits for sale that popped up and everybody was wondering huh why is cooper tom's uh fursuit on there and oh cool i could buy majira for 500 bucks uh also jacob he's not even worth that much he's a he's a um he was (laughs) uh, just a shout out to uh a little bit all my pair we have a scammer who tried to run a COVID-19 scam and actually hooked a bunch of people. But, Hi, but uh, first we're going to but first we're going to start off by talking about this uh, wonderful site that caught the imagination of the furry community over the past weekend. It's this called Persona. Yes, it's called this persona does not exist.com. And you can go on there yourself. It is a collection of headshots, furry headshots. And apparently none of them actually exist. Well, all generated by an AI. And um, it actually caught a lot of negative attention from the furry community for all the wrong reasons. Like, like I, well, I don't know how um, how uh, well versed either of you are in machine learning or deep learning. Not uh, at all. So, Not at all. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm uh, reading through the comments about this, and uh, it's just off the wall. People not understand what's going mm-hmm. on with this site. What did some of the people say? Like, what were they complaining well, about? Uh, well, some people are saying that uh, deep learning is going to be the end of of the commission in or you know the commission or commissioning an artist. You know why commission an artist when you can just have an AI just draw you know what you need. All right, so or, watch this. And 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 other and other people were saying that now it's going to make it a lot easier for Russian trolls for Russian troll farms to just pick avatars and troll away on furry sites because now you have a repository of furry of original furry headshots that they can use for their for their profiles so and now that yeah so what, that oh, might be plausible but um as some people have mentioned before when that happens it's usually it, the results are usually not what 
furries expect out of Russian trolls? <laughs> uh, I'll have you what they that expect out of well. Russian trolls is for them to take control of situations, seize the opportunity, take back Mother Russia. We deserve this kind of respect. We deserve to rule the world. No, you don't. <laughs> Do not play this. Stop. God damn it. You. Why are you encouraging him? What do you mean? We're not we're communists. Not, no, we're not communists. So don't play this. I, don't play this. God I just thought it damn was it. Funny. The timing was funny. That's why it was funny. Oh, my That's God. That's why I laughed. The timing don't was great. encourage him. You know how he gets. Don't encourage oh, him. Oh, mommy, don't do this to me. Who are you calling mommy? Mom, don't fucking, don't stifle my creativity. Bitch, I am not your parents, okay? You lost your damn mind. Look, to all the people who think, first Why of all, you smack your lips? I, yes, yeah, you I did. It. Shut up. Look, to all the people who assume that Russian troll farms are going to troll furries, first Fucking of all, check your Discord for one, you stupid ass. It keeps going off. I'm not even on Discord. Yes, you are. I can hear it. No, oh, fuck, I am. Um, so to, <laughs> shut up. Shut up, both of you. Okay. Shut the fuck up, you cunt! <laughs> at what point can i like file an eeoc claim and, and sue them for racism like come on man anyway i'm kidding these people aren't racist these two oh, so are you awesome. want to file a, so you actually want to file a complaint then no it's a joke relax you can file an eeoc complaint god damn it can, don't do that you can file an eeoc complaint with this podcast as soon as i can file workers comp in this podcast for my shoulder <laughs> i don't pay y'all so no my thing is this Russian, first of all, Hello, Russian thank troll. you for calling customer service for uh, furry wow. frequencies. We're put you on hold so we can get in contact with your supervisor. You, no, you, what, God damn it. Please hold for the next available agent. <laughs> Stop encouraging him. Your call is very important to right us. Now. He put me on hold. That's what he did. <laughs> damn, you got put on hold. Look, I'm not calling some tech dude in Bangalore, India, okay? What I'm trying to say is... There Hello, are no my name is Bob. I'm your customer service Bob. representative, and I will be helping you today. Uh, have you you don't sound like a computer? Bob to me. Oh, okay. I'll put you back on hold then. What the fuck? <laughs> he don't even sound like a Bob, and that's not racist, okay? My thing is this. Okay, we'll get through this. I've got balls of steel. No, you don't. <laughs> okay. Okay. So seriously. anyway, I... with the whole Russian troll farms thing, stop. Just stop. This is not I the. I didn't this... do anything. No, 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 no. Not you. I meant the people claiming it was the Russians. The Russians. Like, just stop oh. with that shit. Like, seriously, this is not the. This is not uh, Trump. Like, just stop with that. Besides, there are so uh, many Russian artists anyway who use fur affinity uh, and are into fandom. So that's so stupid and kind of offensive to them to suggest that they're only there to troll furries. Like. Really, and number the Russians two. have a lot big, like bigger things to do, you know, like operate UVB seventy six. So, uh, no comment on that. But <laughs> you don't even know what it is. It's an unidentified radio signal. Okay, that's all I know about it. All right. Yeah. Number two, the people who are really blowing this out of proportion, and one of the names is Ramoon. Um, I. I it's from it's yeah, from moon we're yeah, gonna call her a moon I, yeah, okay. um sweetie you are a grown-ass adult you have a child okay you have a child let me repeat that you have a fucking child maybe uh, try this shut up try this take care of your fucking demon uh, spawn of a child first before you roll around in the fucking dirt in some retarded ass drama that don't even concern you like bitch stay in your fucking lane who the fuck is you nobody asked for your goddamn opinion about this like who no nobody asked for your opinion so why are you flapping off at the jaws about oh this is good this is inappropriate yeah this is going to affect artists no it's not have you seen some of these avatars some of them look like shit all right well see she's also she also uh accused the she's site. a dumb bitch that's what she no, is. she also she also accused the site of actually stealing original art and um she actually put up or she actually tweeted about uh this one artist that took one of these 
headshots from the site, uh, dressed it up with some shading and some details, and then put her signature on it. Oh, fuck. Hold on. And oh, damn it. basically, she put it off it as her own work. And technically, she can do that because it's it's actually kind of going off from an original. It's deriving an original from an original, if that if that makes any sense. But um. Oh, oh shit! Fuck! My <laughs> computer actually fell. <laughs> God. What? And no, people fell for it. People like Ramoon fell for it. People thought Ramoon. People like Ramoon thought that uh, the site was stealing original artwork, original they, furry artwork. And they T H O T thought. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Get him. No, she is. And like I said, you have a kid. Maybe She's focus on your thought? kid. Oh my god. Cause she is her. one. Have her you looked at her? Her Twitter was on fire this weekend. She was like firing off like thirty tweets a minute about about this persona does not exist. Like she, she was off. consuming. It was consuming every second of her being. Yeah. Look, it she'll fire crazy. off some fucking tweets about this, but I bet you she don't take care of a fucking kid. I bet you she don't she do that shit. To, she even tried to fire off a uh, a complaint to Cloudflare, and and of course Cloudflare. If you never dealt with Cloudflare before, they don't listen to your DNS, um, to your cease and desist uh, concerns. They don't. That's why it's it's a favorite for hackers and scam artists to use Cloudflare because it's basically anonymized. The the uh, who is on uh, the DNS completely anonymized. You can't find out who owns the site. Who oh the bullshit! Site. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can actually. Um, somebody actually made did a post it. about how they, yeah, they, how they did it. They actually did it, but actually, it leads into our next story, which is another uh, site that captured the imagination of the furry community and also the ire of some of the some of its members. This past weekend, uh, we saw, uh, or actually, no. So before I get there. I want to just kind of briefly mention just how this persona does not exist works because a lot of people do not understand how deep learning and machine learning works. And people are just like flipping their shit thinking that this site is stealing avatars uh, for people to just use freely. And that's not the case. And when, they, when they're saying that, uh, that the site is actually generating original works, it is. But it's generating original works from processing a ton of other <laughs> photos. And what I'm saying, so basically you got a training set. You write a code or you write a program that reads in the images as binary bitmaps. You know, a long, long group of ones and zeros for every single pixel. And so it stores all this data, this long string of ones and zeros, it does it. And then, um, and that's for the training data. For the mm -hmm. TFDNE training data, they use 55,000 furry headshots to train this program with. And um, after they kind of turned every photo into a bitmap, with binary or you know turned it into binary uh the uh the program then takes samples of that large group of the training set data the ones and zeros in the training set and basically it tries to piece together what's in that sample the the ones and zeros it interprets the ones and zeros in that sample and then it does it again and again and again and again it does it many many times the tfdne site actually did um actually sampled the 55,000 photos 3.2 million times and it took 33 days for it to actually go through this entire process um which is a lot but um when it does this 
it starts to uh, piece together the ones and zeros back into pixels so that you can actually see an image. And basically what that image is, is the mean of that data, of the samples. So basically it's, you know, it, every sample is just, you know, the mean data. And when it does this over and over and over, of course it, you know, gets right. So, so many times, but when it gets fucked up is very interesting because of course the data has a 95% confidence interval. And, you know, usually that means that 95% of the time or, you know, confidence, confidence interval can be anything from 85 to 99.7%. So what that means is that, you know, depending on where that confidence interval is, means most of the pictures will be right. And only a sliver, a slight amount will actually be over or under the mean. So those that are over and under, those are the ones that look fucked up. They're, the, the data in those samples are like way off from the mean. So they kind of get fucked up. And we tweeted about uh, some of those earlier on our Twitter at Furry Frequency. So for everybody that thinks that this, that this formula or this uh, program is, is crawling around the internet and stealing artwork and putting it off as their own original, calm your tits. It's not doing that. It's, it does see the images that the person that created the data set put into it, but it's not processing the images like we process images. It's not looking at the, the images. Does that make sense? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Be nice. But yes, it does make sense, Professor Lifty. It makes sense. Okay. I mean, I, th that's what I'm saying. I could tell you're like super passionate about this stuff and yes, you could it's, go. It's fascinating stuff. It it's not, but you could go on forever. Oh, fuck you. Lifty. Fuck ass bitch, motherfucker. Hold up, hold up. I know you ain't talking to me. Fuck ass bitch, motherfucker. Lifty, can I hit him? Gotcha, bitch. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Okay. I mean, how are you gonna how are you gonna hit him when we're all social distancing? Don't that worry was about easy. it. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. And you enable him too. Damn. The, the timing <laughs> was great with that. Oh my goodness. I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't See, I tell you, you enable you, him to do this. Mm -hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I say will happen when I told you? Exactly what just happened. <laughs> he is just... <laughs> God damn it. I swear to God. Mom. Oh. I ain't your anyway, damn mom. All right, so can we... Anyway, let's... Oh, moving continue. on to our other site. We've, we started talking about it. Then I was like, hold up. I... I need to talk about this. So another site that caught the attention of the furry community this past ooh, ooh, weekend. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can I say it? Go ahead. I love go to ahead. say it. Fur suits for sale. <laughs> you do that yep, extremely for sale. too well. Um, yes. So what was interesting about the site is that they basically crawled through like furry Twitter, furry Tumblr, just wherever the internet lies for furries and just pulled random photos of fursuiters, of very popular fursuiters, and then just posted them on this site for rock bottom prices, uh, like 489 for 99. And these are popular fursuiters like Bajira. Um, you had Max. You know, Max with the, the blue wolf with the feet. You had Sorrel, a local to us. You know, yeah, Sorrel, Sorrel Militrix was up there. Bissy Raccoon Bissy. was up there. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. Yeah, you had a well, lot. Of... When, I don't even know who they... the fuck these people are. Yes, you do. Oh, no, Bissy. No, funny Funny thing is, is that when they wrote up Bissy's um, uh, description, it was written, blue and green trash monster fursuit. <laughs> I'm like, ah, <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> well, no, not really. That's lewd, man. Um, not you. No, what he what he just sent me. He, that's just lewd. Um, no, and you had some others there too. Um, I I think um, pineapple. Uh, what what's his name? Pineapple. The the 
the the fox? I, I don't know. Yeah, the pineapple fox. Yeah. yeah. Really? Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, pineapple fox was on there. Uh, stop poking me, you fucker. <laughs> there. <laughs> oh my god, are you're like a petulant child? You need to be spanked. <laughs> God damn it. But no, they had some uh, a lot of fursuits up there. And I guess they really angered a lot of people by, you know. Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> well, I did a little digging on the site, and they have a ton of fursuit listings. Of course, the site was, was uh, delisted on Sunday, I believe. Thank God. But um, while I was crawling around the site i found some interesting details um first of details. all details yes so first of Do all tell. the dimensions for all the sites or all the suits were like about a 15 centimeter box 15 by 15 by 15 so everybody was just like basically a box and um when you when you finally pick out your first the first suit that you want and you want to pay for it, um, the the payment information <laughs> shows no payment available. So you can't, so, so there's no like Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, nothing. No, it, it just Bar. says payment information not available. Um, if you try to go to their contact us page, the, the contact us page shows that their location is actually in Uwu Papa Nuni. <laughs> Are you I, serious I, right now? Yes, yes. What'd you just call it? Uwu Papua, Papua New Guinea. So we're about to piss off the Papua New Guineans or whatever the fuck you call people from Papua New Guinea? The New Guinea pigs? No, I didn't. Oh, whoa, <laughs> no. I Don't didn't say, say that. that. Okay, first of all, I didn't say that. Yes. Second of all, how am I pissing them off by saying we Papua love, New Guinea? We love Papua New Guinea. I don't even know where the that, fuck that is. Why do you say it's Papua? in the fucking... It's in near Indonesia. Are you serious? Did you why not you, take... Hold what hold the up. fuck, man? Why do you say, why do you say it's Papua? Why do you say Papua New Guinea? It's Papua. It's Papua. Papua, Papua New Guinea. Papua. 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 I call it Papua New Guinea, and that's what I call it, okay? It's, po it's Poopy New Guinea. Look, oh, God. the fact that they made me allowed me to teach kids is a problem, all right? If I'm calling it Papua New Guinea, all right? That's, on, sorry, that's on you, America. Silox, 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 Silox. Yes? Look in the furry frequencies telegram. Oh, I have that one saved, so it's okay. But no, um, <laughs> look, we love the Papa, Papua New Guineans or whatever the country's called. We Papua love them. Pap Papua New Guinea. We love you all so much. However, the fact that you allowed this person to use your country to set up a fake website is very concerning. And I will talk to your president and your president or whoever runs your country. Karen, it's probably please. the prime minister. Karen, um, please. Will, you know, find that person and bring him to justice because this is a, is, is a travesty. It's an injustice. You cannot pretend to sell fursuits that other people use. I mean, they do this in fucking China. Uh, there's that famous picture all, that circulates online all, all the time of that fursuit. That, that I think that guy, I forgot who his name is, but it's a... Oh, I know who it is. It's Dickhead. No. It's a, uh, okay. it's a lacy suit, and it's being sold on this bootleg Chinese website for $400. I mean, you can't do this, because you're going to get people, especially Majora? kids. No. Um, you're going to get kids who think they can get that fursuit like that for 400 and what happens is what happens <laughs> god gotcha, bitch. i'm gonna kill you what happens is <laughs> what happens is um you know they're gonna get a, a oh, rag shit. here we go again they're gonna get a raggedy ass fursuit <laughs> You know, they're gonna yeah, get a yeah, they'll get a lemon bread. That suit, was easy, okay? Which is the worst suit possible you can get. So, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, I don't care. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. Fuck lemon bread. Um, so as far as little I'm giggle concerned, every time I do that, he enables you by giggling. Okay, it's fucking hilarious. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> you think you're so clever and so smart? You're not. I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. And she is a trifling <laughs> bitch for doing that. Nasty shit. Nobody trying to see all that. My point is this. I'm, I like, you know what? I actually yes. looked that up. I looked up the video on that. And 
there's only that's only like one half of the funny things that she said. There's oh my a god! Second half, there's she's a second fucking... half to that. Oh no! There's a second half to that where she's like, and I haven't shit in one of them at all. Okay. Um. This is a. Up there. Okay. This is a family fam. What? Hold up. Hold up. Fuck your problems. All right. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Moving on. Uh, go ahead. Keep talking about. I her. got balls of steel. Okay. So, to show <laughs> that we are friendly towards the New Guineans, or Ghanaians, or whatever. Yeah, get fucked. You can't even fucking pronounce it, you dweeb. Well, well, hold up for a minute. You can't even say it. All right, so if you got... If, if you... So, um, as you can clearly see what I just typed, um, yeah, so... Papua New Guinea, as I call it, or the independent state of Papua New Guinea, or I don't know what you what you call these people, um, and that's not racist. Their capital is Port Mosby. Look, they speak English, guys. Smack okay, shut up. They speak English down there. All right. Oh my God, they're. This used to be a colony of England. Okay. Um, so, Prime Minister James Marape. We're gonna call him Marape. Um, look. Marape. Why are you calling him Marape? That's what his name's called, Marape. That is the saddest thing ever, to have a name that has the word rape in it. I blame his parents, and I blame him for not changing it. My thing is this. Papua New Guinea, we like you. We have, we obviously have relations with you, not for your frequencies, but this country does. Stop sending us your worst, okay? We want to get on Telegram and what? Did you just call me for real? Really? <laughs> you little petulant ass <laughs> bitch nigga. Why the fuck would you give me a phone call? Because okay. I love you, BB. I don't love you what like the that. Fuck? Okay. But like I'm saying, we can't keep having this. Like, it's, it's funny the first time that we see people do this with the fursuits. Fuck you. No, no. It's funny the first time that we see people do this with the fursuits. But again, but after that, it's just annoying. Because what, what happens is, you know, I talked to Sorrel and she wasn't too happy about that. I mean, she was upset that, you know, people were trying to sell her suit, essentially. Um... You, in a way, you're gotcha, bitch. In a way, in a way, you're kind of selling characters off. If you think about that, um, even if you're not really getting the suit as is, you're gonna have somebody who thinks that, oh, I can get this character for four hundred, and they do that, and it's theirs. Well, the worst problem that I see from this is that it. It encourages more scams to pop up in the furry community. Um, everybody should know that fursuits are not cheap. You can get a cheap fursuit if it's used. You can get a great deal on a fursuit if it's used. But yeah, on you a can. brand new one, you can't. You can't expect. You can't expect something to just fall on your lap for five hundred. You no. can't, unless somebody um, is like, you know super desperate and just trying to leave as quickly as possible sure but in that case there's usually some kind of fucked up backstory to why they're leaving as quickly as possible so yeah uh good luck with that uh so no it's really impossible even on dealers den like the suits that you see on there they're uh, unless it's one that's really poorly made back your lips um no offense when i say that uh you're not gonna get a decent looking suit and rights to a character for five hundred dollars, four hundred, three hundred. It's just not gonna happen. Um the Tardy sold um what's the what was her character's name? Um Crest Fox, I think it was. For over ten thousand. Like Damn. Yeah. Uh, but also um when the furry community is trying to bring in younger and younger uh members who Maybe somewhat naive when it comes to what's going on in the furry community and what is going on on the internet. They're going to fall for things like this. And the next scam, the next fursuit scam that happens like this might actually be collecting credit card information, payment information. 
And suddenly furries are losing a lot of money because they think, oh, I'm getting this beautiful Majira fursuit for 500 bucks. I can be Majira. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. That's, you know, I, I, I don't even know if this was some kind of uh, April Fool's joke that kind of lasted until May, but I, I, I can't, it, it's, it's kind of funny in one sense, but it, it can also, but be warned that it can very much encourage the very bad behavior that we're, that we don't need in the furry community. And we definitely don't need our younger members to fall prey to this. On the other hand, I was I was looking forward to plunking five hundred bucks to buy a Tamari and Brana fursuit two in one deal from this site, and I was dismayed when I found out I couldn't put in my credit card information. Like, come on, bitch! That's I, because you're fucking gay. I'm giving That's you it. money. Shut up and take my money. I want two fursuits for the price of one. You do not. You do not have money. You ship toilets. Fuck you. <laughs> he does. Look, he's the best toilet shipper in that in the whole company. You know, he should be CEO at this point. You do not even ship the good toilets. Fuck, you ship the shit be, toilets. I don't want to be I don't want to be CEO of a company. No, no, no. Fuck. Ha, ha. You. Don't want to be making the big bucks. The good ones. Yeah. No, in other news, fuck Zern. Hey. Zern, <laughs> I'll, I'm I'm going to be real with you, Zern. I don't like your Get him. I don't like your warehouse in Baltimore. It is nothing but a crack house. I pass by it when I'm Get going em. over to Pulaski Highway. I pass by it because I'm looking for a warehouse and I'm seeing a crack house and I'm like, what the fuck is this? The dude that works the counter at your crack house of a warehouse in Baltimore, I bet he's a kid. Get him. He's only got like three, three fucking teeth in his entire mouth and he's going Enough! The, the... Let me tell something to you. Hold up. He was going we... off. Listen, we at what Zern the... work hard to bring you Glorious shitters. Can I and talk to your see, manager? Listen, you do not speak I want to now. talk to Zern's manager. Yes, I want to talk to Zern's manager to me. because this fucking crackhead gets all our wrong. Now you listen to me, little man. What the hell? I want to talk he, to the manager. Here, here in Russia, we make best toilets. You shall shit in absolute comfort, comrade. Do not ever doubt my Fuck power Russia. to poopy. Russia sucks. Okay, now you may speak. Russia sucks. No, no, no. no Talk no, to the manager. No, listen to me. Listen to me. Zern, I want to speak to your manager because all your orders kept on getting wrong. We keep getting fucking pallets full of toilets that we never ordered. Like, what the fuck? Okay, so you, you want this... to... Sp Li no, 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 then listen. You got you... Motherfucking... Then you got that motherfucking crackhead that can't Wait, tell... Wait, who's the crackhead? Of... Okay, okay, sir. The listen to me very Baltimore. carefully. Is he Bob? You want to speak to manager? I don't you know want what to his speak name to is. manager? I get we'll him on the him line Bob. for you. Please hold. Is he the squeegee kid? I know a squeegee kid named Bob. He might be a squeegee kid. Oh, don't fucking put me on hold. No, You just you. got put on hold. Look at Bitch. that. Stop playing around here. Hold up. What the fuck? What is that kind of accent? That's some bullshit right here. Are you trying to act like a southern black guy? No. What the hell? What the hell with you? I've been put on hold. Yeah, I just had to watch a video of somebody pulling a fucking fire alarm. Like, holy okay, shit. So cut, 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 the, cut the whole music, please. Can I talk Listen. about the next person? Hello, this is customer support for Zern. Get fucked. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> that is how. That is exactly how I feel anytime God I deal with Zern. God damn anyway, it. Um, Can I talk uh, about so, the next guy? Yeah. So actually, let me lead into it. Okay. I so, trust you. And this is where we talk about the best one of the night, people. Fuck it this guy. It is da, 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 Jacob Washinger and his COVID nineteen scam. Yes. Here we go. I was going to Silox, lead in. take it away. Fuck. Shut up, damn it! Leave it in, then. God damn it. I, I keep on getting interrupted. But anyway, in this time of social I've distancing got balls and coronavirus, of steel. Um, Wait. of course, there are a lot of Hold scams up. that are Hold that up. are floating around, and people aren't really knowing what's a scam and what's legit because COVID-19 is affecting everybody, and it's affecting everybody negatively. But uh, this one dude <laughs> that, uh, that uh, 
IBM already mentioned earlier. Um, he was trying to do a very slick one on everybody. And a lot of people weren't actually He tried noticing. to slide his penis into your butthole. No. Well, he probably would do that too, given how creepy he is. So, Hell no, not my butthole. Fuck it. Not mine. But let me take it from here. Stay away okay, from go, ahead, anyway. go ahead. Go ahead. We know. Um, so, okay. So, this guy oh. is... Shut up. This guy is Jacob Washinger. He hails from Northern Washington. Maryland. Carroll County, specifically. Listen, so... Listen, hold on. No, no. You didn't even say it right. You said, you said Maryland. You said Maryland. It's Maryland. It, I yeah. said Maryland. So... No, okay. Semantics. But he hails from Carroll County. Um, a a few good. weeks back... Shut up. A few <laughs> weeks back, uh, his sister, quote-unquote, died. And um, he posted on uh, Twitter, Dundalk. shut up, that's um, a GoFundMe. Now, it's funny that he did that. For one, he had bragged to us profusely that he was a professional esports gamer for the Washington Dundalk. Justice, fuck you. Um, <laughs> Washington Justice, fuck you. <laughs> turns out that he's not on that team, and he's not on that team and never was. Funny how looking that shit up and actually calling can verify that you're full of shit, Jacob. But okay, let's continue. Also, back in February, he said that his sister had brain cancer, and then a few days later died. Huh. So, fuck you. So, either, Jacob, you're full of shit, you're forgetful, or you have another sister. Oh, wait, you don't. You only have one sister. You see how this is kind of screwy? But okay, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. So, Jacob puts on this sob story of, Well, uh, you wouldn't know, and I don't want to talk to you, and, uh, and I'm not lying, I'm not lying. Well, hold up, hold up. Let me get the correct voice. Hey, man, you know what, bro? I'm not lying, bro. You know, I'm telling the truth and all that shit. That's what he sounds like. Jacob Washinger sounds like the blackest white dude that you know, but jacked up on cocaine. He looks like a drug addict, and I'm pretty sure that he does sell drugs on the side. Because, one, you're not an esports gamer. I don't know why the fuck you lie about that. Two, it's obvious that when you do game, you use boosters. You use hacks because you're clearly shit at your gaming without them and three you look like uh the spawn of kevin federline and fucking vanilla ice like that's just terrible dude so this guy managed to scam at least nine people the last time i checked um into giving away also close to nine hundred dollars yeah so this guy must have triggered you more than fucking fox gear no, um, he doesn't trigger me. Um, the fact that he scams people is what makes me angry because this, especially at a time like this when so many people are out of work and money is tight, the fact that you would scam people out of their hard-earned money just so you could probably go and buy some cocaine or whatever drug of choice that you do, you washed up piece of shit, yeah, that's what makes me angry. His existence does not really make me angry, okay? Fox Gear does not make me angry. The fact that he doesn't bottom makes me angry. Um, Fox Gear himself does not make me angry. Um, so, uh, go on, go on. You, you were going well. What uh, happened? Well, well, you just posted that note. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, just keep going, keep going. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Um, so no, he his existence doesn't make me angry. The crime does. So my thing has always been this. Jacob, be honest. Smack your lips. Fuck you. Be honest. You scanned people. You needed some money. Money's tight. I get it. Don't say your sister died. Because when we looked, we couldn't find anything. Nothing yeah, in there the, was no nothing in the paper. There no for Grace Washinger either in May or in February. And you know what's funny? His mom didn't say anything. Now supposedly they're strained, but I don't care how strange you are. If your child dies, you're going to say something about it on Facebook, if only for pity points, because I know how people are. So nothing was said. So as far as I'm concerned, you're full of shit. And I look forward to hearing in October that your sister died of tuberculosis or some other kind of fucked up thing. Um, so yeah, you're a piece of shit and you'll get everything that's coming to you. Of course, we could always be wrong, in which case, we're sorry if we're wrong. 
it just looks sketchy as fuck that the fuck we are we're not sorry for anything we say don't okay. fucking listen to this push this pushover who are you calling a pushover I'm, I'm, you. Well, you know what now. if if we're wrong if we're wrong then you know we'll be wrong but right now i don't think we're wrong there, there's there's no proof that you're that he's right there's no proof that he's right other than you know just believing his flimsy ass word and by the way You'd... this person lied about being a hotshot esports gamer from you know dc he lied he also mentioned during furthermore that he was so bummed out because he learned there that his grandmother just died hmm there was uh, i don't know if that's right but um considering you you were full of shit about the whole esports thing and you're kind of full of shit about your sister dying i venture to believe your grandmother is somewhere alive and well no um i believe it and once again this is just not this is just another case of the fandom having scammers and oh yeah and no, and it's the fandom having attention whores. That too, unfortunately. Well, that's what Jacob Washington is. If you read off his Twitter, that's what all fursuiters are. Um, Every last well, day, including okay, yourself. in a nihilistic way, yes. But also, yes. you're you're a fursuit. Well, okay. No, I'm not. You have yeah, a fursuit. No, I don't. Oh, wait, no, you don't. You that's, don't. That's right. That's right. No. That's right. I, it isn't. It's not mine. It's, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's the vets. Oh, okay. I thought it was yours. Okay. But in a way, you're right. We fursuiters like to be photographed. It's natural. The difference is most of us aren't... There's nothing natural about what you do. You dress up in a carpet and act like a dog. I don't act like a dog. Most of us aren't attention whores. Myself... Not to this degree, no. I'm not an attention whore, okay? I can give a fuck all about all that social media bullshit. I really no, could. Uh... Yes. Just do us all a favor and look at your telegram. <laughs> yep, that's getting saved too. God damn. <laughs> Russian bloodlines look good on you. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, no, but you know, I'm not about that whole attention horse life. Lifty is it? You know, most of the people that I know aren't about that. Jacob is. <laughs> You said um, Lifty is an attention whore? He's not. No. I said isn't. He is far oh, from it. Oh, I so, thought you said he, he was. Also, no, he's far from it. Um, when, Jacob is, though. You know? So when he met his uh, his goal on his GoFundMe, he began to backpedal. Did you notice this? Yeah. You tweeted, he tweeted out that when he hit his goal, he tweeted out that a good friend of his actually spotted him the entire cost of the funeral for his sister so he's going to be giving the money back that he yeah, bullshit got from... yeah exactly bull fucking shit oh my god your sister died here here's like ten thousand dollars so, so crazy. nobody's asking Get... where were these friends before he started the gofundme and you know when when his sister was dying of course, you didn't hear anything from Jacob about, you know, his sister being in the hospital, his sister, you know, clinging to yeah. life and all that. But he will certainly, you know, talk to you about how he had coronavirus for two weeks. Yep. So again, who, who knows just, if that's you, true or not? Just like fucking FWA, show me the fucking money. Show me what is being done with the money that's been donated. Show me what is going fuck on because... I don't believe the shit that's spewing out of your mouth. And I might not even believe the fucking shit that you spew out in fucking pen, uh, pen and paper. What's in black and white does not always mean it's fucking right. You dumb fuck. I want to see. I want to see her dead body. I want to see <laughs> all of this oh, shit, shit that happened. Oh, no. Okay, now we, we don't need to. It's not going bodies, no. far. It's not going that far. You know why? Because these liars go too far. I want the truth. You let these people get away with this kind of bullshit. And they'll do You're it again. You're not inquisitive. You're not honest with yourself. You believe everything these cunts say because you yourself are a dumb bitch. If you believe everything someone says to you, you're just as dumb as the fucking animal that died on the side of the street because it didn't look both ways. Yes. yes. You're... 
kind of not wrong about that. Yeah, he, he's like, really not wrong about that. There's no information online for, you know, any obituary information for Grace Washinger. Um, also, there, may I add that funerals don't cost $900. Yeah, no. They, they average 6000 Way more than, yeah. They yeah, way more about than ten, ten to $14,000. Even, you I mean, even, even cremations even, don't cost 900 so, they cost you know. At least 1000 Yeah. At and, least. And I don't think he's going to cremate. He doesn't seem like that kind of person, you know. I didn't want to burn well, like I said, where she is friends? a very where pretty girl, friends? so where you were know. The friends that spotted him, the money. Where were they when? Oh God! He was Do you think he's in a necrophilia? We ain't getting in there. No. no, no. But I think he's a drug addict. He look. He gives off that vibe. Now here's my. So, well, hold on! No, no, no! Wait! You said drug addict, so he's not an addict. He's an addict. Like, no. A T T I C. I think <laughs> that if you met him in person and looked at what he does, his I'm making fun of how you pronounce it, you know, that. because you know you, you don't say Earth, you say Earth. Now here's my. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Continue, Lefty. Ignore him. Notice how his Earth. how his uh, Twitter actually says, you know, Jackie twelve soon MFF. I think it's kind of, this is a theory, first and foremost, but I think he was trying to scam the furry community into getting money for MFF. Um, that's, just a, that's just a theory of mine. Because, Salox, you said it perfectly. Funerals don't cost $900. They cost upwards of 6000 especially now where you know everybody seems to want a funeral for their loved ones there's going to be a high demand for funeral services at this time so that's probably going to push the cost up now nine hundred dollars however that could go towards a very very nice vacation you know all expenses paid to chicago and that's just my theory i mean i'm just saying if i want if i had 900 dollars and you told me here spend this on mff i would spend it and have some and have some money in the bank left over it is not hard to go to mff on on, on 900 dollars now you can you can shit on me all you want if you think I'm wrong, but like we said, we don't have any proof that Jacob is right, and there's no obituary info for this Grace Washinger that he mentioned, who apparently died twice. First person, first person since Jesus Christ that uh, that uh, conquered death once and died again. I'm you know what I'm happy. Um, and you know what? Maybe what we can do is we, as a show of good faith, between the get fucked. that too, between the United States and Papua New Guinea, we can present grace to them as a gift and what give. What do you mean? What the fuck are you? Saying? Clearly, she's immortal, right? If she's living and dying, living and dying, right? Oh so, God. in order to heal. U.S. Papua New Guinea relations after this whole fursuit website stuff, maybe we give that as a gift to them. See? Think about it. What the hell? I I'm swear I'm about, not on all drugs all when I'm, I say all this. I'm thinking about, hold up, hold up. You want to know what I'm thinking about? Dick? Yes. Well, maybe. But I, <laughs> when you were bringing up giving Grace Washinger to Papua New Guinea for some reason. I, I don't I, I, I don't know why. Oops. I thought about I thought go go look in the go look in the furry frequencies telegram. Oh. Are you looking? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that means we should, we should deliver Grace Washinger on the on the shoulders of the uh, of the uh, funeral dancers from Ghana. Uh, you mean you mean the Harlem Globetrotters? No. Me, what? what? 
<laughs> Where do you get the Harlem Grove Trotter? Grove. Where do you get the Harlem Grove? The Globe Trotters. You said it, you said it again. You, fuck what off. The fuck is wrong fuck off. You, Where do you get the Globe Trotters the... from? Where does that come from? They look like the Globe Trotters. Why? Because they're black? Like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, I was totally going there. Really? No. Oh, okay. Dude! <laughs> Harlem Globetrotters. I'm actually, you know what? They they amuse me. They this has been the best meme. The 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 Ghana funeral dancers. That's been the best meme of 2020. I God, it really I, has. It's honestly made things better in a way. In a way during the. But what about jackals? What That's about them? Meme. Yeah, they just exist for some reason. But, like, the the jackals that are in the chat there, I mean, look how cuddly they are. Okay, well, that's furry art. I can look at that on E621 any day. But funeral pallbearers that are dancing. Jackals. No. That's interesting. Okay. Fuck off! You know what? Okay, that's it. You know what? You can get... I swear to God, if you were my child and you had told me to fuck off, I would have taken my belt and whooped the fuck out of you. Okay, that's it. You know what? I'm going to find out where you live. Come down here and spank your ass. You're going to find out today. I don't play around like that. I ain't your fucking co-workers. All right? I've got balls of steel. You see how he does this? That was easy. Okay, you know what? He taunts me. There's a very easy way to see if Jacob is lying or not. I Jacob. put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. That we can do that. Have Grace That's do it. that. But no, no, no. <laughs> hey, Jacob, here's what you should do. If you're a really great brother to your dead sister, how about doing this? How about posting the funeral information, like the, the whatever the church is or the funeral home that she's being uh, that she's having her funeral posted in, or you know what time, what date, whatever. All this information, all this pertinent information. So that we can go and pay respects to Grace Washinger. He won't do that. No, he won't. Because Grace Washinger, as far as we know, isn't dead. Mission failed. We'll get a I would love to see Grace Washinger we did fail. come out and say, Hey, you fuck. I'm not fucking dead, you dick. And then just fucking disown his shit. Can I get a tactical nuke incoming in this nuke Jacob's house? <laughs> oh, you don't have that? No. Uh, okay. no. Ah, jeez. But I mean, if Jacob can't do just that, then y'all been played. Y'all were played by a crack addict who looks like he works for Zern. Bruh. It, it, come on, man. He looks he, like he, he works at the crack house at Zern warehouse uh, in Baltimore. Did you just call him a cracker? No, I called him a crackhead. Oh, I heard cracker. I was like, why are you calling white people crackers crack now? Head better um he's yeah he, he looks like one lying obsession and all he wants is ff and drug money like i said he is the long lost love child of kevin federline and vanilla ice i have not seen he anyone to, he, well he needs to work for zara so he can make some legit <laughs> try so hard to be urban like that's just so bad like incorrectly also, it's funny. He says that he's from Baltimore. Then he told us he was from Detroit. Then someone said he was heard that he was from Kansas. So it's like, come on, where are you from, dude? Bitch, I was from like, Kansas. He don't look like some Kansas boy. Fuck you? Him. What part of Kansas are you from? Junction City. Is that near North Platte? That's near Fort Riley. Where is that near? Give me a city. Manhattan. Oh, God, Manhattan. Okay. That's where K-State plays. Yeah, yeah, it is. K-State is a wonderful university. No. Go Cats. Uh, no. Um, so... Go no. Wildcats. It's all about University of Kansas in Kansas. Uh, so, sorry. Oh, you know what? They're a great team, too. Rockhawk. Yes. J Rock Chalk, Jayhawk, KU. Awesome. Yes. Bill Self, you should give me a scholarship to play basketball for the University of Kansas. So, yeah. And you know what? <laughs> I'm going to go all the... You know what? I'm going to make it all the way to the NCAA Final Four. Or I'm going to make it the finals. Kansas <laughs> is going to make it the finals. And I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm going to be tasked with okay. <laughs> the final shot with seconds to spare. And I... And I He'll miss. Layup, and not only that, You'll he miss. goes and goes and gets stuck between the backboard and the hoop. And You'll you miss. hear the buzzer and the game is over and we lost. You'll miss. 
you'll miss. And you know what? I'll be, I'll, I'll look at the camera and be like, this is the happiest day of my life. You'll miss that shot, but sure, let's go with that. that let's go point. with your theory. Yeah, Lifty. I point, first I of all, I can't. Stuck I can between the backboard and the hoop. First of all, do you not know what happens when that happens. I cannot believe that have you, you actually. Seen that before? I have. I can't believe for a fact that you one actually play basketball. Two, you actually score points in a basketball game. That is surprising. And three, you were you got the last shot off. A, hey, at least I didn't travel like you did. Who is? I don't travel. I didn't never you travel. Caught, you were caught traveling. When? I, the video that you posted to your That Twitter is account. manipulated by the Russians, okay? I never traveled. You were traveling. Hey, I caught you traveling. Fuck you. Shut up. I never traveled. You got told by the Russians. Fuck the Russians. I never traveled, okay? <laughs> Russian gonna oh, tell me traveled. about you, basketball you, when they can't play basketball. Man, you go all the way to Chicago, man. Don't tell me you don't travel. Fuck you know what, you little bitch? Why don't you go get some tracksuits on and squat and drink some vodka and, and Peruski and Borscht and shut the fuck up, okay? <laughs> I, Chiki, pricky, bitch, I will track you down and spank your ass, okay? Taking that tone with me. Lost your damn mind. What do you think you're going to do, little man? Little? You're so tiny. Look at you. Now you cannot speak no more. Look at you. Ha ha. Get fucked, little boy. All right. Do we you have time for one more rant? <laughs> do we... <laughs> you look, you can no longer speak. Yes. Mother Russia always on top. Do not play this song. Do not play the... Thank you. All right. Let's talk about real quick. 6969. Nine, six, nine, that... Dead man walking son of a bitch. Oh fuck him! He released he released his first record since going out of prison called Gooba, and of course it <laughs> made up YouTube two million views in the first in in the first you know few hours of release. Um, this dude, this dude bought a three hundred thousand dollar billboard in Times Square, the biggest one in Times Square. Three hundred thousand dollar dildo. Billboard. God Bilbo. damn, man! You need you need hearing aids. Bilbo? Dildo. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> hey, you know what? You know what? It's six Get nine. It, it's fucked. Takashi six nine, so he might actually have a three hundred thousand dollar dildo in his house. But Get <laughs> I like how you just hate both of those people for no reasons at all. Well, you know what? No, fuck Takashi six nine. He this this dude, this motherfucker comes out of prison. He he puts he puts out a uh this bombastic record where he's basically just giving a fuck you to everybody and telling everybody, look at me, I'm a snitch. I fucking I fucking won. I I got away with racketeering all because I snitched. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I was going in for 70. I got out in a year and a half. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Technically, he and only got out because of COVID-19. Let's be honest. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> that's the that's only what? reason that's why he got out. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Fuck that. Fuck him. I, I, I can't believe that people are actually listening to this garbage. He fucking rhymed dumb with dumb. Like, how fucking dumb can he be? Like, fuck this shit. This is trash. Fucking hip hop. No, I'm sorry. Because of that, hip hop is dead. Hip hop is dead. Are you serious? In 2020. Yes. Hip -hop Dude, is hip hop because... has been dead for years. Are you, uh, come, really, really lifty. Okay, so hip hop's been dead for years. Okay. Yes. Well, you know, it doesn't help. Takashi Six Nine is actually taking a shit on the grave of hip hop. Okay. With, with this Continue. crash. Okay, lift. No, fuck you, Takashi. No, even worse is Come on. that he actually started showing pictures of his new house, his stacks of cash, his his new wall, his new uh, jewelry and whatever. Uh, 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 Shut up! Why do you hate? Okay, here's my question for you. This motherfucker is not talented at all. Okay, I get six nine six nine, but you also this say the same thing about Billy Eilish. This too. motherfucker, this motherfucker does not deserve the millions of dollars that he plays around with. This motherfucker does not deserve the record, the, the Grammys, whatever that he gets. He doesn't deserve any praise. He doesn't deserve anything. He didn't learn damn thing from being in prison. He, 
everybody was expecting him to be shanked once he got in prison. You know, that didn't happen. He just got out. He fucking laughed and laughed and laughed. And then he made this album, laugh some more and be like, ha, 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 fuck you. I'm going to get away with fucking racketeering. I'm going to get away with everything because I'm fucking king of New York. Ha, ha, kiss my, kiss my balls. Well, fuck you. Your balls are not existing to my friend. This dude just okay. basically teabagged on the whole justice system. How do you feel about that? Like I said, he's only out because of COVID-19. He that's the only reason why. He needs to why. be put back in. I He needs to be put back in. I I I don't give a shit if he gets COVID-19. He deserves it. Uh, yeah, I said it. <laughs> oh, definitely saving that one. No. I, how the fuck you delete the you was bait and switch little fucking, bitch he was fucking he was fucking bragging about being a rat he even rubbed it in when he when he turned his face into a rat emoji in that video like fuck you fuck you man okay you can't let people like that get to you you really can't no it doesn't it doesn't it just how do these people how do these people get popular how do these people become what they are like so, how, how how did this how does this person become something other than you know he should be uh, uh, but, uh, 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 shut uh, up uh, damn it no this dude <laughs> should be nothing but just some crack ass uh soundcloud rapper say the n word shut the fuck call say him it n word call him a nigga shut the you, fuck up you cunt call him you a nigga do you do it you do it why shut the fuck up, you because oh. you know if I say it I'm gonna use the hard R. Okay, whoa, whoa. First of all, why would you even use that, the hard R? That's, no. Because that's Let's what say. he is. Uh, okay, that's a... Dude, look at the um, video. Okay, I would expect this from Sharky and IBM, not from you. Okay, that's weird, but anyway. Um, what else do you not expect from your friends, you... You I'm sorry, but I have I, simple I don't have little any man. respect for Takashi Six Nine. I'm sorry, I have no respect okay. whatsoever. Okay, I know, and fuck. And I Russia, definitely have way. no respect for what he does, and I have no respect for him being living. You smacked your lips. I did not. Fuck you. Like and Lifty had a good point. Lifty had a good this point. This dude actually had to be moved from his old house to some undisclosed location because he was showing the fuck off. Like, come on, what? dude, you are fucking. You're fucking wasting law enforcement time and efforts to cover your ass from the Crips and the Bloods that want your ass dead. All because you can't stop showing off your shit. Fuck you. They don't deserve to. They don't so, deserve it. They do not deserve mm -hmm. to handle your ass. They do not. Nobody deserves to handle your witness protection ass because you won't take any shit seriously. So I damn thing from prison. So okay, real quick. So in terms of his popularity, I mean, look at the guy. He has rainbow colored teeth and he's bombastic and he's outlandish. I mean, that attracts people. It's the same way in the furry fandom. You know, people people ask, well, how does popularity work? It's it's weird. It's unexplainable. But some people just happen to have it. You know, they look a certain way. They have a nice fur suit. You know, they have a talent that they parlay into. You know, people using them or whatever right it's a, it's the same thing here in music all right let me tell you a story sure sure check off tell us a story i forget but that i think it ends with you being a douchebag oh yes that's right you you uh you like to eat shit and die okay can we not talk about shit i i think the please i've got balls of okay let's not talk about poop because i he don't want people shit. Okay, that is a fetish of certain people who enjoy scat. Let's not talk about poop. Yes, they like to All eat big is chocolate Takashi lugs. 69. Keep it up, keep it up. In five years, you're going to be six feet on the ground. Less than that. They like no, the, to eat keep, big chocolate keep it up, lug. Keep it up, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> Less than With that. nuts. I'm not saying I'm going to do anything. I would I'm hope not. Do you know Please don't. what I'm happens gonna, whenever just, they have ranting. chunky... But if he keeps showing <laughs> off and, you know, trying to, you know, wave his dick... And uh, everybody that wants him dead, he's gonna end, so, he's gonna end so up. So that is what happens when you years. put crushed peanuts in Nutella. Please don't do anything crazy. I know you won't, but I ain't doing anything crazy. Okay, I'm just saying. Listen, I'm just saying. If he keeps going the way he's going, he's gonna end up six.
feet in the ground, five years or less. Have you ever put crushed peanuts on Nutella? Uh, no. It, it it looks just like. Don't say it. <laughs> it looks just like Don't. chunky shit. Okay. We're not going to talk about poop because y'all two, I don't know what it is. You, y'all two incite the scat people. I don't know why. You do. It's because you secretly are interested in that, aren't what? you? What? No. Do I even look Seriously, like... Fuck you, Takashi no. 69 fuck And what? You. He's still on Takashi. No, I'm not into that stuff, okay? Takashi uh, 69 sure? Yes, I'm not. I just yeah, find it. Yeah, needs to go fine. back to prison and learn some shit. <laughs> okay, let's stop. Learn to stay shit. humble. Sit down. Did you also, just say stay about... humble? Wait, be did you... humble. Did... Are you Please quoting a humble. song? You're literally quoting the Kendrick Lamar song right now. Also, Meek Mill, sit your ass down. Are you like trying to start a war like with, no, with he, rappers? No, 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 no. Meek, no, no, no. Meek Mill, he tried to talk some sense into Takashi 69 and I'm like saying, Meek Mill, even your grandmother can diss better than you. Everybody's going to town when it comes to this. Bruh. You can't. He couldn't even diss Drake. There's Bruh, nothing, come on, man. That's like the easy. That's like the lowest hanging fruit, dissing Drake. And he couldn't do that. Nah. Meek Mill, sit your ass down. This is way over your league. So, let's get this straight real quick. Y'all two have made fun of Rick Ross. You're going after Takashi6969. I'm a douchebag. And you just told Meek Mill to sit down. Yes, y'all trying to start a beef with rappers? <laughs> Are y'all trying to start a beef with rappers or something? Is is well, this what we're gonna all do? The way here and do shit. No. You'd be surprised, okay? Hey, all I right? mean, if if Meek Mill actually came over and said, "Hey, you, I heard you, I heard you talking shit about me," and it's like, <laughs> "Yeah, I did." First of all, no, you would not say that to Meek Mill. Second of all, what's he gonna do? He's just gonna cry like a bitch. He'll kick your ass. A bitch. No, he's a bitch. Have you seen what Meek Mill looks like? Yes, and he a bitch. I'm saying what I'm saying is Oh had, my god. He had a moment. He had a moment. He had a moment to diss Drake. Drake yes. came back with an awesome diss track. Back to back. That was a, <laughs> that was one of the best diss tracks of all time. The fact that she cited Drake says a lot. That's all I'm saying, man. No, uh, that's it's Drake, only, man. That's the only track no, that's the only Drake track that I can have mad respect for. Everything else of his is trash. Well, Drake is a trash rapper. I don't know why he even. Oh my God! Now He's a trash a Drake, rapper. Now we had a Drake into the beef. Uh, it's Drake, dude. It, nobody's scared of Drake, honestly. He, he's a faked ass saying. tough guy. That's what I'm saying. Meek Mill, he had a chance getting Drake. Drake is the lowest hanging fruit. He missed. Drake came back. <laughs> this is such a weird conversation. This is such a weird conversation. And fucking blew away Meek Mill. I'm just saying, Meek Mill, sit the fuck down. This is way over your league. Okay. Well, with that in mind, it's been a hot minute, so we're going to wrap things up. Um, if you enjoy what you're hearing, make sure to follow us on uh, Twitter at Furry Frequencies. Um, do not put me on hold. You can follow. You can also watch our videos on YouTube. We're posting those every week um, with interesting graphics, and who knows? Maybe you'll also hear a another interesting opening this week. Did you all like the uh, opening... From uh, uh, last week, I thought that was great. And I know you guys uh, listening to that enjoyed it too. Um, uh, if you uh, were young and you were like me and watched uh, the NBA on NBC, you know where that theme comes from. Oh, when I was a kid, I used to sit out on the front porch and I used anyway, to. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our and... videos. I had to put in my teeth because they had done falling out got in the damn mud. And I so, remember that right there okay. I spent well, well, my college years. You know, while Cletus um, continues to reminisce no about me. the South <laughs> rising again and the Civil War, I'm going to continue and tell you all to one on the lookout. Thing, we, one last thing, one oh, last come thing, on. Thing. Okay, sure, go. I want to just do a shout out to all the essential workers who are being underappreciated right now in this uh, trying time. Thank you. Everybody's just going to work. Everybody's just going to work like it's a normal Tuesday and they're being unappreciated. They're pay they're getting paid the same hourly wage as they usually get paid. They're, they 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 ain't teleworking. They're 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 just going so to work. Basically so, you yeah, too. Yeah, shout out shout out 
to all the essential, all the essential workers out there who are listening to this. Podcast. Oh, that means Cheers me. Thanks. Yes. Thanks, so Lithy. pretty much, basically, IBM and Liffy Husky, both of them on this up, both of them on this podcast are essential workers. They get paid shit to go in every day and deal with people's bullshit in a unsafe environment. And quite frankly, if it was up to me, they get paid uh, triple the amount that they're paid to be put in a situation to have to go into work during a pandemic. Uh, oh, unfortunately, right. um, this country does not operate that way, and I'm not going to get into politics. But um, well, if I got paid triple the pay, I'd be in, able to afford three more persons. In my opinion, um, this is a terrible situation. And the essential workers, those who are on the front lines and those who have to put up with this, deserve to be paid more. They deserve some kind of protection, some kind of safety net. Um, and it's a shame that they're not getting the amount of respect they deserve or the amount of pay that they deserve in a time like this. So guys, gals, and anyone else, if you know an essential worker, please thank them for all they're doing. Um, please thank the nurses and doctors at a time like this because they are going in day in and day out. Um, putting their lives on the line to save lives in this country. So um, we wish them all the best, and um, hopefully uh, this will all be over soon and we can go back to how things were. And that also means law enforcement, so don't be a fucking cunt and don't be one of those goddamn you know, cop lives or all cops are bastards or whatever it is, at, uh, whatever the fuck the abbreviation is. Daz, like, Tiger, and Kaido. We... Yeah, <laughs> I'm taking that out. I'm going to take that out. I uh, know. Leave it in. Oh, if shit. If you're Daz, Kaido, or Tiger, go get fucked oh, by a shit. cactus. Fucking sit on one. Do you understand me? I want it to rip your insides out because that is bullshit. Not all cops are bastards. Some of them are, but no, not all cops. Because understand something: when you need help, it ain't your fucking mom or your dad or your any of your friends you're calling. It's nine one one. And guess who you want to show up to save your stupid pathetic ass? IBM. It's law enforcement. It, yeah, you want me because if I show up, I'm just be like, get fucked. I want you to show up. <laughs> I want you to show up all the time. Please, show up. Don't be like some dads who go out and never come back. Okay, we're not doing the CCP thing. <laughs> and stop encouraging him. <laughs> this is a victory for me. So anyway, you know with why? that said... I was going to say that. Jesus. Okay, go. Y yeah. So anyway, with that said, this has been Furry Frequencies signing off. The soundtrack to your furry life. My name is Silox, and I'm joined... God damn it. You done fuck. <sighs> fuck me, God. Okay, so this is Furry Frequency signing off from our Seagirt Studios. We're not in Seagirt. Lifty? Silox. IBM. Thank you for joining us and have a great night. We're not in Seagirt. I don't fuck with Seagirt niggas, okay? We're in we're somewhere in Maryland. Not good Dundalk. Night. Good night, Baltimore. Fuck don't you, say Jacob good night. Hey, and fuck you, Takashi69. Fuck Arlington. <laughs> Go Herndon. Hey, no, no, fuck you, fuck you. Herndon fuck rocks. Takashi six nine. Learn some humility. You. By the way, we'll have the mayor of Herndon fuck you, on Billy next Eilish. week. Um, the mayor of Herndon will be on next week. Fucking rap bitch. Wow, you're gonna start a rap war with all these rappers, except for Drake, because Drake sucks and no one likes Drake. And Meek Mill, because he's a bitch. Meek Mill will beat your ass, and I'm not gonna help you if he beats <laughs> your ass. Meek Mill is a bitch. Meek That's your words? Um, I, he, Meek Mill will kick your ass. I'm not going to.